A given water source has its ionic compounds listed in the provided bar chart. Assume that all concentrations are in milligrams per liter as CaCO3. How much lime, in milligrams per liter as CaCO3, must be added in order to remove the carbonate hardness? So this is a very simple problem, but I don't blame you at all if you don't remember your Environmental Engineering 101 and need a refresher. So let's get into it. Let's explain the bar chart. The top bar are the cations, or positively charged ions. The bottom are the anions, or negatively charged ions. The problem asks us to find the carbonate hardness. Carbonate hardness is going to be equal to the lower of the following two numbers, the total hardness and the alkalinity. So let's define these terms next. The total hardness is going to be the sum of the calcium and magnesium. These are the only two cations that contribute to hardness. The alkalinity is going to be equal to the sum of the calcium and magnesium that overlaps with the bicarbonate. If the total hardness is less than the bicarbonate, then there cannot be any non-carbonate hardness left over. It is all carbonate hardness. If the total hardness was greater than the bicarbonate, then there would be both carbonate hardness and non-carbonate hardness present. The point of the bar chart is to show you how much of the hardness from calcium and magnesium are carbonate hardness versus non-carbonate hardness. Carbonate hardness can be removed with the addition of chemicals like lime. Non-carbonate hardness typically requires more advanced treatment methods such as ion exchange. So in this problem, all we have to do to get the total hardness is sum the calcium and the magnesium. The sodium does not contribute to hardness and so is ignored. However, to get the answer to the problem, we have one more small step we need to include. The question does not ask about total hardness, but rather how much lime is needed to remove the carbonate hardness. Since the carbon dioxide is present, we need to account for it with respect to how much lime to add. This is because carbon dioxide does not contribute to hardness either, but it does consume lime. The lime needed is going to be the sum of the CO2 and the hardness from calcium and magnesium, or 300 plus 30 from the bar chart. If you wanted to get technical, it is 200 from the calcium, 100 from the magnesium, and 30 from the carbon dioxide giving us 330. I don't think there is much in the manual related to bar charts, but if you search softening, you will find some compounds used in softening and their molecular weights. This could be useful if the problem did not give all of the values as milligrams per liter as CaCO3, and instead wanted you to calculate them before summing them. Here are how you could have gotten to some of the incorrect answers instead. You might select 200 if you think that calcium is the only cation that contributes to the lime requirement. You might select 230 if you think that calcium and carbon dioxide are the only two contributors to the lime requirement. And finally, you might select 320 if you assume that all of the bicarbonate even the amount beyond the sum of the calcium and magnesium are what contributes to hardness. But since you've watched this video, you are aware that the amount of lime needed is going to be the amount of calcium and magnesium that overlaps with the bicarbonate, plus the amount that will be consumed by the carbon dioxide. And that's all it takes to solve this problem. If you are looking for more information on how to calculate some of these equations or water softening as a whole, I will link another video in the description that I found really helpful as well.